In today's video, we're going to look at one of the setups that we found in the members breakout session, but it was actually a couple weeks ago. But now it's starting to get a little bit more interesting, and it was LEN. This is a daily chart of LEN. And what we found was that the most recent decline into support basically came from projecting a couple of these prior declines. Okay, you can see that these two are very similar to the decline into this support decision. And then there was also the confluence of a 382 retracement of another swing and then a 1618 extension of yet another swing. And actually, there might even be a 786 of this swing. Let me just double check that real quick. Yep, as a matter of fact, there's also a 786 retracement of the smaller swing in here. So this pretty much gave you a support decision at this 49.65 to 50.24 area. And you can see that we did have a double bottom, we took out the middle high, and then we retested the support and didn't go anywhere. So this setup started a couple of weeks ago, but now it's finally starting to take off and there's something that I see here that will be helpful. The fact that we had the 5 EMA cross back above the 13 EMA. So if this support continues to hold in LEN, your potential upside target for the move off of this support is still coming in at 54.76, that's target one. Target two would be 55.98. Now what we would need to clear as far as the next immediate hurdle on the upside is this 52.43 area. But if we do trade above here, we are more likely to continue to rally towards this initial upside target. And the fact that we now have the 513 crossover on our side via the daily chart, it looks a whole lot better for a move towards that target. So if you missed the initial entry because you weren't in that um, uh, breakout session, then what you can do is just start looking at the pullbacks on a lower time frame chart for a secondary entry. And as long as we continue to hold above the low that was made on March 27th, I still want to take those buy triggers.